A question we are often asked, how does Dalmax fare against the Festool Domino? My answer usually surprises people, so I've decided to conduct a joint failure test. The test will be fair and honest and all important aspects such as choice of wood, choice of glue, curing period, test wood dimensions, etc, etc, will be identical for both test pieces. Let's get started. I don't own a Festool Domino and wanted the test to be entirely independent. So the dominoes were cut by two local professionals, Rob and Brandon and I thank them both very much. In my opinion there are several factors which contribute to joint strength and the most important of these is accuracy. The two end grain test pieces are shown in detail. Two anchors or fastings are better than one so rather than using one wide domino plate I've used two. The four 1x4 test piece would not leave sufficient material to install three. With any joint, whether testing or building furniture, I use a small artist brush and coat all contact surfaces. The surface area of the dull joint is 8.5 square inches and for maximum strength, care should be taken to ensure that all surfaces are thoroughly coated. This is a test unit, so um, we don't have to worry too much about excess glue because we're not staining afterwards, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter. Just make sure there's a there's no surfaces left. Also, coat the the dull surfaces. Use exactly the same procedure with the with the uh, domino joint. Uh, the pieces are now ready and this is a, a simple hydraulic test stand I designed about 15 years ago and its, its purpose is, is twofold. This is a, a 10 ton hydraulic jack hand operated and it's intended to provide a pressure in this direction. Now the idea is that there's, we get twofold, we get a, sh a shear uh, force and also an extraction force which tends to pull the dowels or the domino is out. Um, now I'm going to do the domino first as you can see this is the domino joint and uh, both these have been cured now for 48 hours and both were done using uh, type on 2. Everything's identical as, as far as we can make it. Um, now the, the, you probably won't be able to see the gauge so I've extended the gauge lines. Uh, this is 200 pounds here 400 pounds pressure, 600, 800 and 1000. So as I say we'll begin with the domino.
400, 500, 600, exactly 600. We'll now perform exactly the same test with the uh, double max joint. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hundred pounds. Two things to note here, um, with the domino, the joint failed, just at this, at the juncture between the two pieces here, uh, the wood is intact but the joint failed. Uh, with the double max the joint didn't fail, the, the wood failed, at the, as is us this usually the case, it fails right at the bottom of the dowels and uh, that's quite significant, the difference. 